Welcome back to my Noob to Pro series, folks. If you are new to this series, this commentary has been added post-recording, and here, I'm documenting my journey from an absolute beginner to an experienced player. Currently, there are two tech trees which I'm grinding, the Israel tech tree with the Kfir Canard, and the USA tech tree with the F-20A. If this is your first video, I highly encourage you to start from video number one. I share all of my mistakes and lessons learned in each video. And since video number 9, I introduce the plane cards where I give a short description on a plane I battle against in the current battle rank. As always, if you have any tips or suggestions on how I could improve my gameplay or this series, please share them in the comments below. I read and respond to each and every comment in the comments section, and any kind of feedback is highly appreciated. I enjoy playing with the Kfir Canard because it just feels so safe and comfortable. My aim has gotten much better as you'll see later in this video. I've gotten used to the cannons and the ammunition type, so I don't fear head-on battles as much as I used to. Taking down players with the cannons is really satisfying, and I use the missiles only as potential extra points, but don't rely on them as much as I used to due to the fact that they are easily flared. Flying low and evading terrain is entertaining and thrilling, but one of these days, I will surely hit a tree or some other obstacle. I get too close to the ground and the trees. Flying like this makes the initial travel to the battleground much more entertaining and less like a chore, though I'm still considering speeding it up to make it easier on the viewers. That teammate woke up and chose violence. I've seen people being shot down for saying smoke if racist, or for simply having a Russian flag. It's low-key hilarious. Though in this situation, I understand how they feel. Having a teammate ram into you which makes you crash would surely make me want to shoot them down with a missile as well. I know I mentioned in my earlier videos that I'll be equipping some bombs, but honestly, it's not worth it. It slows your plane down so much, and by the time you get there, your bomb targets are taken by a teammate, and you aren't rewarded for being sluggish and dragging all of that load. Then you need to drop all of them to be able to get your speed back for the dogfights and chases. And honestly, I much more enjoy playing without any bombs. I think it's a shame loading up the Kfir Canard with bombs and losing the key advantages of the plane. In today's plane card, we'll be covering the F-5C. The F-5C is not protected by armor plates. This leaves the engine and other critical plates vulnerable to ground fire. However, the F-5C is a relatively small target to hit, which mitigates the lack of armor. The F-5C also has 60 countermeasures, which in combination with the low heat signature, greatly helps with evading infrared missiles. Even strong infrared missiles like the AM-9L can easily be flared off. Being slow and at a disadvantage, which is bad for any other jet at this tier, is especially terrible for this plane. The weak engines compared to its adversaries 
and the wing shape combine to give you great angle of attack, but poor energy retention. At speeds above Mach 0.9, this is not an issue, but any lower than 850 km per hour, you will start to lose speed rapidly in a sharp turn. It's equipped with two 20mm M39A two nose-mounted cannons with 280 ammo each for a total of 560. And it can also equip two AIM-9E Sidewinder missiles. Since going back to the base without any fuel took around 5 minutes, I figured it's best to speed it up. Thank you all for watching. Please consider leaving a like if you enjoy this series so far. Subscribe to be in the loop about new videos, and as always, comments with any tips on how to improve are always appreciated. See you all next time.